To integrate this first, we will rearrange the terms so that it is easy to do a substitution. For this, we will multiply both numerator and denominator by under root of sin x. Now in the denominator, we have under root of sin x raised to power of 4, which will get simplified to sin square x. Now focus on the second term, where we will apply substitution. We will put sin x plus alpha over sin x is equal to t. Now we will apply sin sum angle formula and expand the sin x plus alpha as sin x cos alpha plus cos x sin alpha. And from the first term, sin x gets cancelled out. And in the second term, cos x over sin x becomes cot x. Now we will differentiate both the sides with respect to x. As cos alpha is a constant, its derivative will be 0. And in the second term, sin alpha is constant, whereas the derivative of cot x is minus cos x square x, giving us minus sin alpha cos x square x equal to dt over dx. This implies that dx over sin square x is equal to minus dt over sin alpha. Now we will do the substitution in terms of t. So 1 over sin square x will be substituted by minus 1 over sin alpha and root sin x over sin x plus alpha will be substituted by 1 over root t. Now minus 1 over sin alpha is a constant and integration of 1 over root t is 2 root t. Now we will substitute t back in terms of x giving us the result as minus 2 over sin alpha under root of sin x plus alpha over sin x plus c.